Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Catty Rain. In the last episode we did quite a few things. <laughs> the episode even actually became one uh, one hour long because I lost the track of time because I was I was trying to figure out okay what to do next and and what what do you what do I use this for and so on and so forth. So yeah, I lost the track of time and the episode became one hour long, but let's hope hope that, that won't happen this time. So anyway, so in the last episode we managed to open the the briefcase. Unlocking it was actually a lot easier than than I, than I originally thought. So we unlocked that, and we and we found quite a few things from it. We we found an overexposed picture, and we still don't exactly know what uh, what it is about. Um, a photo of soldiers, a newspaper clipping about a, a, a dead girl who drowned and apparently committed suicide, and a small key which we still don't know what this is for. And and I think we also picked up some cassette tape which uh, which we have already listened and so in the last epi last episode we tried to learn more about the girl who drowned and apparently her name was what was it again it started with an L I think it was Lily Myers or something like that so we found so we found out the identity of the little girl and and we and and we're about to call to her mother I guess and learn m more about her and what have happened to the little girl and then we and then we also learned that Learned that one of the soldiers in this photo is George Wade, uh, our grandfather's uh, best friend, or used to be his best friend. But something tells me that something happened, um, at, I don't know, some, some some time ago before our grandfather died, and then they were not in a good in good terms anymore. So, uh, so something something happened between those two. So we still have to try to find a way to con to contact Charles Wade as well. Now, was that everything? I think that pretty much summed it up. So, without further ado, let's continue with the rest of the game. So, let's use the phone and try to call... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember their mother's name, but I don't need to. So, Lily Myers. She's been dead for two decades. I could try to find someone in her family, but I'll need a full name. You know that you know the full name. Uh, is it the Myers family? Alright, found an address. Ah, new location. Location added. All right. So we are not gonna call them. We are just gonna go. We're just gonna go and talk to them face to face, which is fair enough. More polite, I think. We'll take you more ser uh, seriously if if you if you actually go go to the place physically instead of just calling them. So lakeside cabin. All right, but before we go, well, actually, never mind. She's going there by herself. Oh wait, never mind. So let's see. Let's 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 take a look around before we go and knock on the door. Conwell Lake, where Lily Myers met her demise. And and her family still lives here. I don't know. I don't know about you, but but if but if my daughter or or little, or little sister or mother or or, or or someone or someone else important to me uh, committed suicide by drown, drowning themselves in, uh, in 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 into a lake, I would I I would not want to live there. I would move out. <laughs> swim in a lake? Oh, gee, I would, but I forgot my swimsuit at home. Well, god damn it. But then again, you don't need a swimsuit. At least I don't mind if you if 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 you want to go and have a skinny dive. I don't care. Anything else? Thermometer. Fifty-five degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. Mm-hmm. It doesn't belong to me. I don't want to take it without a good reason. Well, fine. Ashtray. It's totally overflowing with cigarette butts. Cigarette butts. Okay. That's one way to call them, I guess. Somebody around here is a chain smoker. We have something in common. Good to know. Well, okay, that's a good start, I guess. I can, can you... see someone moving inside. All right. Well, let's just knock on the door. Yes? Can I help you? I hope so. My name's Rain. Kathy Rain. Joseph's girl. The one they sent away. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Well, what do you want? I had some questions about your daughter, Lily. 
Well, you know what? I don't have any answers, girl. Well, Lily was so precious, special. Lily died. That's all there is to it. My grandfather came to see you, right? To ask about her? Maybe he did. I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not asking for much, Mrs. Myers. Then clearly you have no idea what it's like losing a child. Goodbye. Well, okay. I was not I was not, not expecting this to be easy, but Jesus she sounded very unfriendly. Rude. I can see someone moving inside. Hmm. Should we try again? Pester her. Won't you ever give up? Nope. Okay, so mm, I'm still here and will be until you agree to talk to me. I'm not leaving until I get some answers. Mm, maybe I should not try to be too rude to her. Mm, yeah, I think let's go with this one. I'm still here and will be until you agree to talk to me. Enjoy a night curled up in the leaves then. Okay, well that didn't work. Stop it! Okay, what about this? I'm not leaving until I get some answers. Bite me! <laughs> okay. She's a tough one. Won't you ever give up? Nope. I deserve a few moments of your time. What you deserve is a slap in the face. Well, thank God she didn't go that far. That slap in, slap in the face, <laughs> you know. You again. Okay, so I don't have any new dialogue options. Oh, wait, I can't... <laughs> can't leave. I'm still here and will be until you agree to talk to me. Enjoy a night curled up in the leaves, then. Okay, let's try again. Uh, let's try to maybe show her something. Just go away! Okay. She looks pretty annoyed with me. No, no kidding. Maybe we can... What about the newspaper clipping? Tragic drowning in Conwell Springs. In early morning on Sunday the 14th, a teenage girl found dead near Conwell Lake. The girl is survived by her mother, father, and younger brother. The funeral service will be held at Conwell Cemetery on the 21st of July. The notice is dated July 15th, 1975. Okay, but you didn't... <laughs> okay, you didn't actually read it to her, or, or... Or if you did, she didn't want to respond to it and just uh, shut the door. <laughs> Maybe we should stun her. Uh, no, that would, that would... That would be too much. Police report? Hmm... Overexposed picture. Well, might, might as well show her that. Or well, at least try. Stop it! Hmm. Wait, how did I. Look at Sue, talk to Sue. Look at Smokey, think about it, or combine. <laughs> Stun her? No. How did I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. So how did I, how 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 did I, how was I able to just uh, try try to show uh, items to people? Okay, maybe I need to use something on the door or window or something. This must go to this door, I take it. That action doesn't seem productive to me. Hmm. The Catmobile. Oh, how cute. It's the Catmobile, my custom chopper bike. Plenty of gas in the tank. Okay, good. No? Ah, uh, not the map book. She was born a 76 Corley Motors. But Corley there Motors. aren't many original parts left. Took me a couple of years to make her perfect. Corley Motors. Is that... Was that a reference to Full Throttle? I... I, I bet that was a reference to Full Throttle. Oh wait, wasn't Corley Motors also... Isn't Corley Motors actually an actual company in real life? I think it is, but I, I, I don't know. 
but in full throttle there was there was also Corley Motors or something or so, or something very similar or close to that anyway. Conwell Lake. Yeah, yeah. Well, thick, dense hmm. forest. What were you doing out there, Grandpa? Okay, so I don't have anything to say about that. Okay. I think that we have to show something to. What 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 was it? What was it? Was it Susan? Oh, maybe we should try to give her some pack of cigarettes. Maybe that will make her relaxed. Huh, you again. So give it to. Uh, it it was Sue and oh god damn it, Sue and not Susan. Okay, I need to be fast about this. Just go away. Nope. Want to have a cigarette? Care to join me for a smoke, Mrs. Myers? Well, um, I'm gonna have to think about it. Okay. What that... brand? Coralie Cinders. Extra long. You got taste. I'll give you that. Well, I suppose one smoke can hurt. There we go. And that's when he realized it was his own bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, now that was a good one. <laughs> what you are you talking what, about, Kathy? You're okay. Sorry for being such a cranky old bag before. I get a short fuse when I run out of smokes. Now that's an understatement. Good thing I had my morning smoke. Otherwise, we would have had a fist fight on our hands. <laughs> oh, it's getting chilly. Why don't we head inside? Sure, let's go. Okay, there we go. Oh, and that's... Uh... Now, this here's my boy, Nathan. Yeah. He's special. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi there, big guy. Yeah, he's special, all right. I can see that. So... Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, I have noticed. Very lifelike. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Right. So I guess we'll just sit down. So you wanted to ask me about Lily? Yeah. Do you mind telling me what happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him, and the good he'd done for the other people around here. So I let him in. He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she... that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth. That she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. All right. Anything else? Well, he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Yep. That's one of hers right there on the wall. I see. It's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. I didn't really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper, thanked me, and left. Huh. Any idea of what he could have seen? Not really. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Hmm. That, that art, art, art collector is not uh, Charles Wade, is it? So, we could ask about Lily Miles art or the art collector. Well, let's ask about the collector first. Tell me about this art collector person. Rich, fancy looking, in his 50s or thereabouts. I'd say he'd be around 70 now if he's still alive. Sounds he like knocked weights. on that door one day with a wad of cash in his hand. Five thousand dollars. He wanted everything that Lily so much as touched with a brush. Huh. Did he say why? Nope. But I got the feeling that most of that dough was paid so he could avoid any questions. I took the money. I still had Nathan to support. 
Did the stranger give you his name? No. Well, his face was far from forgettable, though. Big nose, bright blue eyes, looked black Irish. He had a thick black mane, turning gray. No beard. All right, Sue. Thanks. Hmm, okay. So, so it could have been Wade. Or Wade. And about the art? So, tell me about Lily's art. It used to be about cheerful things. Landscapes, animals, bright colors. Just like this one. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things. Death and decay. And the last few pieces looked like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition for her art? Not really. Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. Alright. So... I... I guess we could add, ask about this as well. I don't, I don't, I don't think she uh, she will be able to add anything really uh, new to most of this. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather? How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. How long? A week, maybe, at the most. Mm -hmm. I don't need to ask her about that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Mind telling me what Lily was like, Sue? I'd be happy to. She was Nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys, and whatnot. And she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was ten, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. We didn't have much, really, and so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> on her twelfth birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no, this was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything. Counseling, support groups, antidepressants, nothing worked. About a year later, she just gave up, and well, you know the rest. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. So, could, could the dealer have been Charles Wade? Does the name Charles Wade mean anything to you? Oh, well, he's some big-time businessman, ain't he? Yeah, he owns a large company. That about sums up what I know about the fella. Hmm, okay. I don't need to ask her about that. Okay, okay, and... And less of the Myers family in general. What do you do to support the two of you? Hmm, uh, a little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say... He didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for 15. Man, that must be rough for you. Oh, we're doing just fine without him. Aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. Hmm. Okay. So that was all of that, but maybe, maybe we could show her some of these things now. No reason to show her that. Okay, but what, what did you suit up? Hey, Sue, do you recognize any of these men? Well, there's Joseph Rain. <laughs> Always so handsome. I had such a crush on him back in the day. And... No way. That's him. Oh. The man who bought the paintings. He's I knew it. He's younger here, but there's no mistake in that hairy nose. Are you sure? 
I'm positive, little cat. That's the guy who walked into this cabin with five grand in cash. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. It's Wade. Uh, another question for the elusive Mr. Wade. Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Ah, okay, so so one of the uh, little detail, uh, scribblings here disappeared. I'd rather just ask her about her daughter directly. Well, okay, that makes sense. Do you know what this key opens? Well, that's a bit of a weird question, ain't it? But no. Well, yeah, it is admittedly very, very weird. Stone gun, simple. Hmm. What do you think about this church? It's a good church. I go there from time to time. I bring Nate, too, when that boy needs the fear of God put into him. <laughs> Police reports and... Well, want more cigarettes? It was fun the last time, but no. Okay. Well, I guess we are done here with her. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back any time. Yeah, I will. But it's getting late. I should head back to the city. Well, yeah, sure. That's be but before that... Oh, damn it. I just thought, thought that if, if I could have... Ch I, I could have had a chat with Nathan. And then just look around hey, a bit more. Hey, you're still up. I was wondering when you'd show up. How did it go? Long story. I found out about some stuff that happened when I was a kid. Wow. What a mystery. So, what's the plan now? The plan? There's no plan. This whole thing was a stupid idea. I don't know yet, but I'll figure out something. Some shut eyes is the plan. I'm about to pass out. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know yet, but I'll figure something out. What about this Charles Wade? You still haven't talked to him? And that strange bright picture you showed me? Those tapes? Listen, I know this guy. Eileen, relax. We can talk about it tomorrow, okay? Oh, it's way too late now. No, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm way too excited. Well, that makes one of us nighty. <sighs> Good night, cat. Hey, Kathy, wake up! Ugh, you are so lucky there are no sharp objects near this bed. Guess what? I got an idea. Please tell me it involves you taking a sabbatical. Haha, <laughs> so you found all this evidence, right? Pictures, tapes, and stuff? I guess. Why? Well, as you know, I have a computer. And I know this hacker guy, Dave, and... Oh, never mind. I'll just write you a note. You go back to sleep. Seriously, Eileen, sometimes I just marvel at how your brain works. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? I guess you couldn't tell. I guess you couldn't tell that it was sarcasm. Hmm. Are you sure you want to do this, Catherine? You still have time. If you think there's any chance, you would change your mind. I'm sure, Doctor. Just get it out of me. But please, don't tell my mom. I'm hmm? sorry, but we have to do that. It's the law. Don't tell me that someone knocked you up. Nobody has to know. Just pretend it slipped. It slipped your mind. Hmm. It's none of her business. It's my choice to make. I have enough shit going on with her already. This would just add fuel to the fire. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Fine. Let's just get this over with then. Right this way. Ugh, I hate that dream. Hmm, day two. So, did she have an abortion? I guess Eileen went to class. I probably should too. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. We got better things to do. So, so here, that's the note Eileen mentioned. Hi, cat. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is Angel Love, without the quotes. If you call my friend Dave at 555 2492, he can set you up with some software. I'll be back in a few hours, super psyched about the investigation. E. P.S. No gum on the keyboard, please. Remember the last time? 
Oh, please, like she actually uses a space bar? <laughs> Shit, looks like she forgot to write down the username. Oh well, shouldn't be too hard to guess. I think it's just some combination of her first and last name. Okay, so I Aileen or Eileen. What was her what was her family name? I don't remember. Uh, maybe we can check it from the phone here. Uh, no, it doesn't read here. It just reads rich dorm room. Okay, but uh, now I wonder if there's anything else new here, something that we can pick up and take with us. I don't see anything now. This music is a bit, I don't know, sinister. Makes me feel a bit nervous, to be honest with you. Scanner. It's some advanced scanner thingy. It can scan pictures, tapes, all sorts of stuff. Right. Well, try to use the computer. Eileen borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. Okay, so we don't know the username, but we know the password. That was Angel Love. Mm, for, sec for security reasons, accounts are locked after four failed login attempts. Oh, shit. Okay, so we don't want to fuck this up too many times. So, what was her last name? Mm, oh, I, I think it read Eileen's here. Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Summers, that, that's what it was. Okay, so let's try this. Eileen Barry. Oh, yeah, yeah. So let's try this. So, Eileen... Oh, wait. Hmm. Using it, Eileen Summer. Ah, uh, no. Hmm, is... Ah. Is Summers, maybe? And... And Angel Love. Login successful. Damn, I'm so smart. And we have an empty uh, floppy disk. And scanner. What should we scan? Flop, floppy drive empty. Yeah, scanner. Empty scanner. Okay, so what should we... What should we try to scan? Maybe... Maybe this overexposed picture. Combined with the scanner, if you will. There. There we go. Let's see. Do I need to write the password and shit again? No, I don't. Good. Okay, let's try this. Okay. And what next? Oh, I can... I can look at it, but I can move it. Well, move it, I don't know, there. Invalid input. Uh, move it to a scanner? No. Hmm. I wonder if I have to use the scanner again. And scan it in darker color or something. So we, so we can actually... So we can actually actually see what... So we can actually uh, see, see the contents of the picture. Retrieve overexposed picture from scanner. Yeah, there we go. Oh. It's some advanced... Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's some... It... It's some... It... Uh, let's try, to try it again. It's some... It... Hmm, yeah. So... So we have scanned it. But what now? I double click it, but it does nothing. Right click doesn't do anything either. Can I do... What's here? Can I do any, anything else here? Nope. Invalid input. Invalid input. Duplicate data. Okay, I don't know what to do with that for now. 
Do we have anything else that we want to scan? Highlands note. Photo of soldiers. I don't know. Do we want to scan the photo of soldiers? This picture is in good shape. I don't think it needs to be analyzed. Okay. Or maybe we need we need to call call that hacker guy. Well, might as well do that. Yeah. Hey, I'm Kathy. Eileen said to call you about some software. Ellie who? Eileen. Red hair, glasses, speaks so fast her gums ache. Oh, right. I thought her name was Errol. <laughs> Figured it was kind of a weird name for a girl. You must have a hearing disorder. You must have a thinking disorder. Ha 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 ha, burn! Lame. Wow, just wow. So, uh, the software? Oh, yeah. No, can't. Not really. Ugh, <sighs> I knew she was full of shit. <laughs> nah, I mean, sure, I used to be able to get pirated software, but not anymore. There was this misunderstanding and my network privileges were revoked. Me and Clyde, the campus IT guy, don't really see eye to eye. We used to play bocce together, and let's just say he is one sore loser. Right. Why not patch things up with Clyde? Can't you hack your way in? <laughs> you are such a poser. Hmm. Can't you just patch things up with the guy? No way! He's such an ass! He even thinks TNG is better than the original series. He thinks the what is better than the what? My thought exactly. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? I have no idea what he was referring to. Can't you just hack your way back in somehow? Isn't that what you do? You block the ethernet port in my room. I don't even have physical access. Don't you ever leave your room? Use a computer in the library or something. Aren't they connected to the network? No, there are cameras in there. Clyde is just waiting for me to make a move so he can get me expelled. You call yourself a hacker? Just use your brain, for Christ's sake. Let's figure this out. Wow, you're so sassy, Nancy Drew. Well, okay, only an admin account can change the access port. The only way to even theoretically crack one would be if Clyde logged on to a machine to which we have unrestricted physical access. And... Ooh, I got an idea. I'm not gonna like this. Well, what you could do is intentionally crash your PC. That sounds especially stupid. Well, not crash it, crash it. Just crash it a little, then call Clyde. Clyde will come over to fix it. If you're lucky, then he'll log on to the network using his admin account. Afterwards, you can use some of my tools to find and crack the password locally. Worth a shot, I guess. Okay, you can come over and set it up. No way. I have severe IBS. It just wouldn't work. IBS? IBS? What the hell is that? Uh, you seriously don't want to know. Well, I do. Have my buddy drop off everything you need. It's not rocket science. You do what I ask, and I'll get you some juicy software. Quid pro quo, Claddy. <laughs> Whatever, weirdo. We'll see. Silence of the Lambs a reference there. Quick co pro, Clarice. Hmm? Okay, well, so we got some mail. What's this about? These must be the instructions from Dave. Ah, oh, okay, well that was fast. There was a floppy disk in there with a note taped to the back. Mm-hmm. It's labeled boot. Boot, okay. One, boot your computer using the blue floppy. Two, use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer. Take the floppy out and reboot. Three, call Clyde at 555-8181, tell him your computer crashed, and give him the error code on the screen. He'll come over and have a look. It shouldn't take too long for him to fix. Four, now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his admin account. Five, Reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using the blue floppy. 6. Reboot and log on using Clyde's admin account. 7. Look for some kind of tool to remotely open my Ethernet port. Dorm B, room 8. That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job after all. 
damn, so many damn steps. Am I really have to do all of that myself, like manually? Jesus Christ. Well, well, let's stick this bad boy in there. Okay, do I need to do anything here? Okay, so corrupt hard hard drive MBR. Extract admin password exit no well, so we're gonna do this first. Are you sure? Yeah. MBR corrupted. And then And then All I Alright, time for some expert help. Yep. And then we call Clyde. Clyde from South Park. IT, this is Clyde speaking. How can I help you? <laughs> Fight with Dave. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Wait, Dave. Oh yeah, it's the hacker guy we just uh, talked to. Hi, I need you to come and fix my roommate's computer. What seems to be the problem? It won't start up. There's some kind of system failure with an error code on the screen. Probably a hard drive failure. Which room are you in? Dorm A, room 5. I'll be there in a few minutes. Thanks. Okay, okay. Hey, Clyde from IT. Oh Hi, my. Come in. Oh my god, he looks he looks like a true nerd. My, oh my. Now how did this happen? I have no idea. It was like this when I started it up this morning. Hmm. Let's have a look. And presto! Good as new. That's perfect. Could could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. Ah, okay. But but we have to try to make him uh to log in. Mm. Let's see. Should I? Mm, should I try to? Uh, should I try to intentionally to uh, to to lock in with uh, with the wrong username or password or whatever? Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Uh. Yeah. That worked. Thanks. What? No problem. Let me know if you have any more trouble. Well, God damn it. Shit, I have to come up with a way to force him to log on. Well, you, you were the one who said that it works perfectly. God damn it. Okay. Mm. So, summer sent. Oh, yeah, we have to move the damn floppy disk in there again. Okay, so did I have to corrupt the computer immediately? I'm quite damn damn sure that I had to. Extract admin password. That's not that's not what we have to do, right? We have to do this after uh, Clyde logs in using his admin uh, passwords and account and stuff. Yeah. Okay, time to go and call Clyde again. Oh, and he presto, good as new. Well, okay, that that's that, perfect. That was could, convenient. Could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. Okay, so I'm have to so I have to do something here. Well, let's lock in for starters. Let's see if we can do something here. Oh shit! <laughs> works like a charm. Mission accomplished. Uh, yeah. Thanks, I guess. No problem. Let me know if you have any more trouble. I'll be sure to do that. Well, damn it. If only I could talk to him or something. Shit. I have to come up with a way to force him to log on. Come up with a way to force him to log on. Maybe I'll have to do something else. Uh, what, what did the instructions uh, said here again? One. 
boot your computer using the blue floppy. Yeah. Two, use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer. Take the floppy out and reboot. Three, call Clyde at 555-8181. Mm-hmm. Four, now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his five. Reboot and retrieve six. Reboot and log on using class seven. Look for some kind of tool to remotely open my ethernet. That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere... Yeah, okay, okay. So the instructions are not helping us here. Yeah, yeah, let's just uh, corrupt this thing again. So, corrupt it. Oh. No, oh yeah, okay, so... Oh, wait. Uh, did I do this right? Oh, yes, I did, okay. And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, so maybe I have to fail the. Ah, uh, but ah, uh, but no, I did, I did, uh, I did give the wrong uh, username uh, last time. So so fail. So trying to fail four times is not going to. Oh wait, for the, for the, for security reasons, accounts are locked after four failed login attempts. So maybe I am actually have to fail four times. Okay. Let's do this. Uh yeah, that worked. No problem. Ah, okay, okay, no. I shouldn't I shouldn't have turned off the computer there. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's do this shit again. Summer's an angel love, so it was E. Oh wait, I don't need to do this. First step, floppy disk in. Yeah, 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 hurry up. Okay, corrupt. There we go. And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. Okay, so now let's fail four times. Mm -hmm. Three and four. Oh, wait. I might have to wait till this text goes away. Well, nothing is happening. I have failed more than four times here. Maybe now? Uh, yeah, that worked. Thanks. No, it did not no work. Problem. Let me know if you have any more trouble. Or maybe I have to fail four times before I corrupt, corrupt the thing and call him back here. Okay, this was Angel Love. Okay. Let's turn it off and and is it uh, is it still saying that I need to fail four times? Yeah, it is. Okay, I have failed more than four times again. Hmm, damn. God damn it. 
Well, may maybe that's not what we what we have to do here. Well, but but it certainly feels like it. For security reasons, accounts are locked after four failed login attempts. One, two, three, four. And I can't reuse any of my items when uh, when the guy comes here. Well, can, well, well, can't say can't say I tried, but well, fuck it, let's try it first. Let's corrupt this thing for like five hundred time. And corrupt the damn thing. And then call a nerd in here. And presto! He must, be, he must be getting tired of this. That's perfect. Could could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. But I forgot my password and shit. That's that's what you should tell him. Okay, so I can't log in. Well, maybe I have to... Hmm, I don't know, delete everything. Yeah, I yeah, I I didn't I didn't I didn't think that, that would have made any difference. I can't access my inventory here. I I don't know, maybe I'm gonna have to type some mumbo jumbo in here. Four times. That's two times. Three. Okay. And E. Summer and Angel Love. Okay, and there's nothing else I can do here. Yeah, that works. Well, God damn it. No problem. Let me know if you have any more trouble. He sure lo loves to come here time and time again, doesn't he? Shit. I have to come up with a way to force him to log on. Hmm. Damn it. I thought I was so I was so certain that certain that that would have worked. Uh to fa to fail four to fail uh, four times and then uh, and then make him to log in. And I don't think I have any items that that could help us in any way. Could there be something in this room that could help us? Color printer. Super fancy, apparently. A fact which Eileen loves to remind me of. Hmm. Wait, hey. Color printer. Wait. Could we... Hmm. I, I'm, I'm just wondering here that could we possibly print out the... the overexposed picture that's still in the scanner? So, Summers. I don't see how I can make the damn thing uh, duplicate data. Floppy drive empty. And I can't... Color printer. Hmm, yeah. Like, I can't use the printer itself. Well, that's fine. Could there be anything here that I could use? Eileen's closet, filled to the brink with inherited clothes and Christian joy. Christian joy, huh? I can certainly see the appeal of blindly rummaging through Eileen's clothes, but seriously, I've got better things to do. Pink. Bear. We meet again, Mr. Bear. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault you ended up so close to my lighter. Oh yeah, and that well, once again that satanic look. 
I think that movie is about a girl and a boy who hate each other at first, and then they fall in love for no reason at all. Yeah, oh, that's... <laughs> that's every romantic comedy ever. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I was about to say that Romeo and Juliet. I'm fairly sure it's about some guy who falls in love with his golden retriever. Golden retriever. Can't say I know that one. Or at, least, or at least I don't get the reference. This was Titanic. I remember that one. That, not that much. That was Pulp Fiction. That was nothing really. And what was this about? The Thing. One of my favorite. Oh yeah, words. The Thing. A John, Carpen John Car Carpenter's Thing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think that there's anything in this room that we could use to... That we could... We could use the use the com on the computer or anything. Hi, cat. Feel free to use my my password is Angel Love yeah, without remember. the quotes. We know that. You call my friend Dave at five 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 two four nine. Super psyched. Blah blah. That missing username is a bit annoying, but I think I can guess it. Mm, yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, can we leave? Nah, I have nowhere I need to go right now. Okay, so we can't even leave this room. Well, that, well, that's good to know. Hmm. I don't really know what to do here, folks. I was so damn sure that I that I need that I I need I need, needed to fail in logging in four times, and then and then the computer sim uh, simply won't allow me to log in anymore. And then and then that guy would have had to use his admin uh, admin account to log in. That uh, that's what I was thinking, and it, and it sounded perfect to me. Hmm. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay, we fail once. Will it will it still say four times? Yeah, it still says four. Well, that was five times. Still says four, and we can still log in. Yep. Well, let's let's try this one more time. And then after that, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. So we're gonna corrupt this thing. Call the nerd again. He fixes it, and and then we, um, and we go and and fail, uh, and in lock in logging in. Hmm. Does anything happen if I do this? No use doing that before Clyde is logged in. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Exit and shut down. And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. All right. Let's try again. One, two, three. Four and for good and five for good measure, and we still managed to log in. Oh, works like a charm. Mission accomplished. Uh, yeah. Thanks. I guess. No problem. Let me know if you have any more trouble. I'll be sure to do that. Well, god damn it. Shit! I have to come up with a way to force him to log on. And I had a perfect plan for that, but, but, but yeah, the the com uh, the, the computer uh, sim uh, simply al allows us to, to to try to log in as as many times as we want. So that's the problem. So I don't really know what to do here, folks. I thought I thought that was I I thought that was perfect. That was a perfect plan, in my opinion, anyway. But I guess not. There must be another way to. There must be an another way to make Clyde to log in by by using his admin account. 
But like I said, I'm gonna end this episode here, and in the, in, and in the next episodes, uh, let uh, let let's try to figure out how we can make Clyde to to log into this computer by using his admin account. Well, until next time. So thank you for watching again, and see you next time for more Catty Rain.